First, it was the New Year's Eve blackbirds in Arkansas. Then a few days later, the same thing in Louisiana. 3,500 birds in two states dropped dead. Blogs lit up with dire warnings of apocalypse. But biologists with the U.S. Geological Survey say it's not fire and brimstone. Wildlife die-offs of birds and other animals across the globe is a fairly common occurrence, and it, and it happens every year in numerous species all around the globe. Here's a map from the USGS. This is all the reported mass deaths of species from just 2010. The animals range from frogs to birds, salamanders to sheep, and the number of dead ranges from 10 to thousands. The University of Georgia's Southeastern Wildlife Disease Study is examining some of the birds from the two states. They'll dissect them and run numerous tests. These samples then are used for uh, additional tests, including microscopic examination, looking for bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungal organisms, and even toxins as uh, potential causes of death. John Fisher is the program's director. He says any number of things could have caused the mass die-offs around the New Year's holiday. Scott Wright from the National Wildlife Health Center says it could also have been a human intervention, say, New Year's Eve fireworks. Potential human activity that forced the birds off of their nighttime roost, which is abnormal for these species, uh, causing them to fly in large numbers into surrounding objects, which happen to be people's homes. Whether it was fireworks, fungus, a virus, or a parasite, Biologists say there are plenty of potential explanations, and there will be plenty more cases in the future. Noel Waghorn, The Associated Press.